Praise the Lord, Victory family and friends. Thank you for joining me today for our word of encouragement. Trust you had a great weekend, a great day yesterday and whatever church you were a part of. I'm talking about the friends now, but you at Victory, I trust you were in church here at the Dome or watching live stream. Tomorrow night, we're gonna have intercessory prayer at seven o'clock, live streaming it from the Dome into your home. And we want you to join us for that. If we ever need to pray, collectively, corporately, as a church family. We need to pray now for our nation. So much is going on as a result of the George Floyd uh, horrendous death. We all can agree to that. Just reprehensible, just terrible. But let me tell you, as Christians, we must be Christians. I said four or five things yesterday before I really got into the word that matters. God matters. And as Christians, stay with God in the midst of this. Keep your heart right. Keep a God heart in the midst of this. As Christians, stay connected to God so our words will be seasoned with salt and we'll know how we ought to answer every man. Keep, stay connected to God so we won't let any corrupt communication proceed out of our mouths. God matters. We said the Bible matters. Stay in the word of God so that your spirit man can be strong, so your mind can be renewed, so that we won't talk and think and act the way others may think we should. We need to have a renewed mind and only the Bible can do that. We need to think like Christ in the midst of these crises and these challenging and difficult situations in our nation today. God matters, the Bible matters. We also said that truth matters truth. The truth shall make us free. God's word is true. And, and so make sure that that by the help of God, we're only decreeing truth. We're only decreeing the kingdom of God at a time like this. We, we said that church matters. We need to stay in church. We need to stay in church. We need to fellowship with one another and encourage and exhort one another as the Bible teaches us. We said that family matters so important that we, in a time like this in our nation, that we bring our family together and we tell them how we ought to be praying and how we ought to be thinking and how we have to keep our hearts clean of hatred and, 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 and vindictiveness and, and, and great anger and rage. Because it's easy for that to take place in all of our lives because of what we saw, because of what has taken place. But as Christians, we must pull our families together and say, listen, we have to ask God to keep our hearts clean in the midst of this and keep us free from vindictiveness and hatred. How the devil would love for more hatred and, 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 uh, and divisiveness to take place in our nation. And as believers, we have to stand up as the light of the world and the salt of the earth and know that God matters. Know that the Bible matters. Know that truth matters. Know that family matters. Know that church matters. Know that our answer is in God. So listen, according to the Philippians, Paul said by the Spirit of God to us, the church, that we're to shine in the midst of a perverse and crooked generation, holding forth the word of life and life. So let's do that. Let's shine. Let's be the city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. Let's do that for God, because listen, God needs us. We're in the kingdom for such a time as this. Let's represent. God bless you. Don't forget intercessory prayer tomorrow night and midweek service Wednesday night. Come on out under the dome, in the dome Wednesday night. God bless you. Love to hear from you.